On our national page, after the phenomenal job in The Fisherman's Diary, a movie that has taken awards not only in Cameroon, but in other parts of the world with Count Quintus and not forgetting Faith Fidel, not long ago we have Rene Eta with a lot of awards and just of recent, Rene Eta is set for another huge project and he has joined the crew of Zimbabwean film industry and has been appointed the director of photography for this movie. The movie will be shot in Johannesburg in South Africa and uh, is directed by Mark Mandisol and uh, we say congratulations to Rene Eta and we say that indeed hard work pays, keep going ahead and making Cameroon proud. Still in the nation, let's talk about Tila and Nora Brown. Not long ago, Tila goes on social media and insults not only uh, Nora Brown, but talks about the sickle cell patients in general. That created a lot of controversies and a lot of anger on social media. And in spite of the fact that Tila apologizes to Nora Brown, and after a while of Nora being silent, today on social media, we see Nora still talking about the whole beef and says that I really cannot let this go just like that. And in as much as Tila has apologized for everything she said, I really did not find it funny. And Tila insulted Nora Brown on social media and used her health issue to make a mockery of her, which offended a lot of fans. Not long ago, in spite of the apology from Tila, Nora Brown releases a new video and a song track and says that Tila should go and look for Bolo. That's the title of the song. And everyone has been on the audio of this song. We searched for the video but could not find it. Everyone has been like, this matter is still day on. Everyone thought that Tila had apologized and everything had gone. She had waved everything. But just today on social media, Nora makes everyone to understand that she actually did not let go anything and she's still angry about what Tila did and is asking Tila to get a life, to get responsible and to go get a job. We really wish and we pray that they get to settle their disputes and get to settle their saga. And in the meantime, uh, Nora proves that she's still really angry and agitated from what Tila said to her on comment sections on Facebook. Still about Cameroon, let's talk about this photographer, Penjo Baba, who joins Techno to reinvent uh, smartphones photography. And we know about Peter, th those are his names, Peter Njoseka, popularly known as Penjo Baba. He has been defined and termed the best professional photographer that we have of recent times now. And just not long ago, he has been called upon to join Techno to get into this project to create smartphones because they they have realized that most young people now use more of smartphones to take their pictures, to take photos, than going out for video or photo shoots. And so it was a great initiative to get into one of the best photographers in Cameroon. And Penjo Baba was taken as the best photographer for this project. His announcement as brand ambassador for Camon 17 is quite overwhelming and smartphone cameras have gone from being just a novelty to becoming the world's most popular way of capturing photography. They constantly put more technical effort in improving phones and the cameras and on this project, Penjo Baba was chosen as the best photographer for this. We say congratulations to Penjo Baba and you keep making more strides and keep having much more open doors. We'll be right back to take on our international page. Stay with us.